study with the title Role of Corporate Social Responsibility during COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia. This study was done by, uh, with me and my co-authors, Dr. William Nolo, Dr. KSP Inestivita, Dr. Amy Gani, and Professor Yuprecia Susan. Okay, and slide one, our study is titled The Role of Corporate Social Responsibility on COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia. As I mentioned before, uh, we are we are facing the same pandemic globally, and uh, as the uh, according to the United Nations uh, slide next next slide please, according to United Nations World Tourism Organizations, tourism has been one of the hardest hit industries with a sharp decline in travel. In Indonesia, the impact tourism has been severe since this sector has been significant job losses. In our research, we will discuss how companies in Indonesia tourism industry, specifically headed towards Asia, next slide please, uh, has utilized their CISPAR civic initiative to respond to this pandemic. By right. examining this effort, we can gain insight into how CISPAR can aid in recovery and promote sustainable development in the future. Next slide please. When we talk about uh, CSR, it means that business include programs and practice that benefit society and environment to, to uh, their business model, of course. And this idea shows that the company should self-regulate to create positive impact on society. CSR theory suggests that companies have duties built to make a profit for the initial order. The COVID-19, as I mentioned before, has great really impact CSR, highlighting the property of businesses to focus on health and safety of their employees, customers, and communities. During the, uh, during the pandemic, a lot of companies have taken uh, various actions to fulfill their CSR responsibilities. Uh, this action is not only helped reduce the negative impact of COVID-19, but also strengthen their relationships between companies and their stakeholders. Next slide, please. Now, we can look at the uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia, specifically in the tourism industry. The pandemic has also major challenges really affecting national economy and the level of tourism workers. The number of tourists has dropped drastically, which has a big impact, of course, in the income and sustainability of the tourism businesses. We can take a look at the survey by Sparrow in 2021, found that uh, four main impacts of the pandemic in Indonesian society. The first one is increased household income, the second one is a loss of children learning opportunities, and the third one is increased responsibilities for women in household care, and the last one is disrupted food security. These challenges highlight uh, the needs for sustainable strategies and resilience to face such crises. Next slide, please. Okay. When we talk about that, I want to take a look at the one um, a company, a private company in the tourism industry. We call it Capitals Asia. Okay, the first destination management company. It was established from 2003. It has become a trusted partner for travelers seeking personalized and sustainable experience in the region. Capitals um, Asia also dedicated to creating a sustainable uh, tourism ecosystem. One of the key pillars of their business philosophy is their commitment uh, to responsible and sustainable, sustainable tourism practices. So, when I look, when we look at this company of their CSR program, they have three, um, uh, three things, if I'm not mistaken, three core pillars. The first one is environmental protections, the second one is child protection and education, and the last one is better living conditions. Next slide, please. So, the objectives of this study. Uh, as identified by the Spare or Gentleman Monster Bank, as I mentioned before, uh, to respond to these challenges. Our study is focused on the CSR initiatives undertaken by Heavy Trust Asia, a uh, tourism company during COVID 19 crisis uh, between 2020 to 2022, and we will elaborate on how this initiative supported their communities, particularly tourism workers in Indonesia, who face, you know, uh, face severe social economic impacts of the pandemic. And we will examine, examine three key CSR programs of Capital Asia, which were first one, they need support, second one is children school support, and the last one is soft form support, and we will evaluate their effectiveness in providing immediate relief and long term effect. Next slide, please. When we talk about the methodology of our study, this case study employs qualitative content analysis, knowledge, and involved investigations of uh, 
uh, particular organization to provide comprehensive understanding of complex issues. And the key element of the case study is only selecting a specific area, collecting data through various methods like interviews and documents. Therefore, the data analyzed were seized by the of Hematos Asia during COVID-19 pandemic period between 2020 to 2022 and interview results with sustainability and branch manager of Hematos Asia. Next slide, please. So, let's talk about the first program of um, the six months. The first one is the living support. It's about giving families, tourism, and workers important groceries packages during the COVID-19 pandemic. From 2020 to 2022, the program helped more than 282 families each year and uh, in different parts of Indonesia. These families include accommodation suppliers, uh, transportation suppliers, excursion suppliers, existing staff, even former staff. As you can see in this, uh, I don't know if you can that. Okay, it's time now, but please give me at least two minutes. Next slide, please. The second program was the children's school program. The, this program has the impact about uh, small numbers of families. It's about 26 families in Indonesia. They give fun uh, in education because we know during the pandemic, the school's program is switching from more offline to online. So it would give uh, another burden for the families that impact with the COVID-19, of course. And the last one, is the uh, social support. Uh, next slide, please. The social, uh, sorry, the social support was for a small business. It was uh, the program helped about eight businesses uh, during the pandemic. And the, uh, the sorry, the loss offer was special. It's required only fifty percent repayment without any interest. Business can cook with pay the loan within a year or at all at once. And I think that's because my time is out. So we can conclude that next slide, next slide, please. On the last slide, on the promotions. Uh, our investigation also found the areas that could be improved. Okay? Especially in expanding in education and financial support projects. Future since our program will be better with strong monitoring and funding to measure the long term effects on improved strategies. Well, there is room for improvement. It is important to remember that the pandemic made it difficult to expand this program due to limited resources. I guess that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. And we can continue to this session.
know um, such disease are from a systemic transmission. So because I know that, and the, the data that I get is accessible uh, compared to other companies saw my own. And also, uh, Habits of Asia is the first uh, destination management company in Indonesia, and the first uh, company that get uh, certified by Chinese for sustainable practices. So that's why, because of that, I, I think this company needed to get the uh, stage for the pain. This company got uh, sustainable when we look at the